Other amenities to the park include uh, the Rotary Trail. Uh, this is one of the first trails in town that was built uh, by the Rotary Club in, uh, I believe it was 1987-88. Um, the town was able to secure uh, about $900,000 as an infrastructure grant last year and as a result have done a number of upgrades that the park required. Um, you can see this original stonework, uh, nicely dressed limestone, but the stairs and other elements, uh, including all of the um, setbacks, um, had eroded or been changed and so uh, part of the refurbishment is to get new stonework so that we now have much nicer and safer uh, things like stairways and this is throughout the park um, and these are upgrades to the stonework that was um, creating or making the park such a wonderful destination in the 1920s and 30s. There's always been a store in Little Lake Park uh, ever since the campers began to come here in increasing numbers, things like ice cream and hamburgers and french fries uh, were always a popular fare. Uh, the building that you see behind us, uh, I believe, was constructed in the late 30s or early 40s and was operated more or less at the same time as the Midland Arena Gardens. Uh, it was constructed in 1934 and it too had food services and uh, various individuals um, over time have provided both food services in the arena during the winter and then down here in the park food services during the summer. So uh, one individual who I know operated the store uh, both up at the arena and down here in the park was Jimmy Dukakis um, and he was of Greek origin and he really made a wonderful business uh, both in the arena and down in the park for over 40 years. Uh, he used to drive an old beaten up 1947 Ford truck and uh, that's one of the features that I remember as a child uh, playing in the park in the uh, mid-60s uh, when I spent a lot of time here in the park. As we move over towards the western end of the park, uh, you can see there's a set of steps and a very lovely garden area. Uh, that was one of the more improved areas in the park uh, and in fact um, that was used as a uh, a picnic area, a dance pavilion as well. Um, up on the top where our picnic area is today was a very large sort of open uh, aired area that was very common for picnicking. So this is the uh, western part of Little Lake Park and so this whole area was all very extensive camping. Um, the, uh, the campsites were again a variety of cabins and uh, pl tent platforms and uh, tents where cars could park. And at one time, the office for the camping operation was located right here. Uh, of course, today it's now a modern washroom. So here we are up in the most northern section of the lake. This is what I refer to as the second tier. Uh, in fact, uh, all along here, again, were campsites that people would be able to drive to along this little road. Uh, campsites were usually 25 feet by about 25 feet um, and these uh, stairways would take people down to yet another camping level and then down another set of stairs and ultimately down to the waterfront. And these are the old original 1920-1925 um, uh, uh, stonework and concrete work to make this park uh, literally one of the most beautiful and accessible um, camps in southern Ontario. So one of the problems that we've had in Little Lake Park for many years has been what I call the phosphate loading of the small Little Lake itself. And so one of the remedial aspects of uh, protecting the lake was to allow growth and uh, vegetation to regenerate uh, to make sure that a lot of the phosphates that we do use in our gardens and in our, uh, our lawns and just in general weren't simply emptying out into Little Lake. So there's been uh, quite an effort to leave certain regenerated areas in the park. Uh, you can see uh, some of the trees are dying back. They're getting very, very old. Uh, this particular maple tree is probably 140 years old, 125 years old. 
and it's nearing the end of its active life. So you need to encourage and regenerate that kind of uh, new maples and new oaks. And uh, this is part and parcel to what the Parks and Recreation Department are attempting to do uh, as part of their management of Little Lake Park.